So best and highest purpose, it's a concept that property developers and real estate agents and uh, valuers are, are quite familiar with, but it's also something that can really benefit everyday Joe home buyers and uh, property investors as well. And best and highest use thinking is based on one really simple question, which is how can I extract the most value out of this property that I'm looking to purchase? And a classic example, would be uh, you know, a large block of land with a single dwelling that could be converted to multiple dwellings or maybe even put an apartment block on there. Uh, and other examples that you might be familiar with are converting a large house to a, a boarding house or a rooming house, a new gen boarding house. But um, you know, there are other less obvious examples as well. And one, something that I've seen recently that was very clever was a group of uh, strata owners in an apartment block that had a large bill to uh, fix some concrete cancer in the building got together and built to the height of their uh, their legal height of their block adding two more apartments and using the proceeds of the sale of those apartments to uh, remediate their block rather than spending or spending at eighty thousand dollars each to fix the problems so Best and highest use thinking does involve some research and it's uh, quite often going to be going down a council, looking through old development application records and uh, you know, just doing a little bit of snooping to see what is affecting your area and what's changing. That might be a change in zoning or heritage or parking controls or public transport and whether they can have a positive impact uh, in the immediate or medium future uh, on that property that you're looking to buy.